What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 24 franchise video. I am your host, No ID. We are hosting the Steelers after our previous heartbreak loss against the Packers. Uh, it's not as late tonight, but I ain't gonna lie, I am exhausted, I'm tired. And I know this is gonna be a sweat game, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to keep up, really. Appreciate y'all pulling up. Appreciate y'all watching. And uh, let's hope um, we can handle business. Oh, I didn't mean to call timeout. I'm already messing up. They'll have two remaining. I meant to uh, press start. Where is... Did not mean to do that. Good tackle. But we'll turn this little spinner there. Alright. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You talk about tiny? You talk about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy. Ooh, the pass. He's got to take one for the team, right? Make that tackle. All the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. The slot man in motion right. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. The tackle. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. You talk about this Chiefs defense. Right now, they're ranked number 29 in the NFL against the pass. So fourth from the bottom, Charles. And the easy thought process is that stopping the run is the least of their problems because they're facing the number one passing team in the NFL. Trying to get my... Stop the run as well, then that just opens up the passing game even more. They've got to do both. And he'll take trying to get my adjustments faster. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. I did not want to pick this. I was I should have caught a timeout because I did not want to pick that play. Did not want to pick that play. It's Cunningham. Flush to his right. That's caught. He gets it out to Austin. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three yard line. That's okay. We'll, we'll get it together on the next drive. It's all good. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? Good tackle. Their defenders stay home and they'll stop him behind the line. Second and goal from the six this time. Here's Cunningham. Blitz and down he goes. A big win there defensively on second and goal. Loss of seven. And it brings up third. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit. Or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game um, no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that. Give him clean lanes to throw the football in order to have a better chance to win again this week. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Austin brings in the Good tackle. Blocking blocking the back or something. Yeah. 
<laughs> we'll do the third and goal. certainly makes things tougher here as they try again third and goal Cunningham the sack way to um way to tighten up in the red zone that's some good stuff right there way to tighten up in the red zone yes indeed that time lucky that the arm was going way to tighten up in the red zone so he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed. If I could have just been a little bit quicker on some of those plays, he wouldn't have been able to get there, but it's all good. You didn't jinx him. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. I know the power of his team is in his defense. I think he runs man. I can't remember for sure. The Chiefs up first and ten at their twenty-five yard line. Yeah, they all route KOs. Here's Pacheco to begin the run. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the <sighs> This defense for the Steelers, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. And that's not the half of it. They forced seven turnovers in that game. And I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force the first one. But seven? That seems almost impossible. But we watched it happen. Mahomes now to throw. Dang. Really? Release, as this will be incomplete. You look at the Steeler defense. They were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. They forced seven turnovers. How many? Seven. Seven. I mean, think about seven. that number now. That's supposed to be a lucky number, right? <laughs> lucky for one side, unlucky for the other. Good catch. Come on, give me that flag, ref. Give me that flag, ref. Can't hit me, I'm out of bounds. In this case, a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the game. Uh, nice that's on me. I've been thinking about switching him to human joystick. A gain of three, second down. I feel like that would have helped in that situation. Start the campaign, and they were looking good until last week's loss took them from the ranks of the unbeaten. Yeah, I don't think anyone was expecting this team to push the 72 Dolphins, but still, you guys take a lot of positives from this first month. They can. Dang! What kind of super dive is that? What kind of super dive is that, man? Looking to throw is Mahomes. I try to throw it away. They sack him back at the 33 yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. See if we can get away with a screen here. There because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Good run, boy. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Now Patrick going to change the play. Okay. 
They'll try for the first with Pacheco. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can tell. I was holding my breath, boy. He needed a yard. That's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. We might have a cutback lane here. Again, it's Pacheco. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Tackle there by Big Jordan Davis. Here's second and seven. Mahomes gonna throw. Everybody's boxed. Everybody's boxed on that one. And it brings up third down on the sand. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to skip the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly? Yeah. Meaning, the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry. Okay, I definitely tried to slide. <laughs> kind of feel like I should go for it, but I'll just kick the field goal. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could. But Take my points. On second down, oh. Throwing a wrench into the works. He certainly did. And he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. So matching field goals on our opening two. We should be able to get a stop. It's like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. Good tackle. The key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them... That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Second and six, just inside the 30. Dang. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun here, it's Cunningham. Got an open man, it's Pickens. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. I didn't get the turn at corner. I actually forgot the turn at corner until. Okay, so now the question: How did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because of the scouting reports before this game. He was circled, Flat. starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Got stuck on the line. You put him on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then you got stuck on the line, man. And figure your way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Cunningham. Toward the back corner of the Wait, end why wasn't he where he was supposed to be? Did I not change him? But there's an incompletion partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. To throw on second down, Cunningham. Bruh. Oh, I should have backed him up. A great play there. I should have backed him up. His fifth touchdown now on the year. 
And the Steelers have taken the lead. That's on me. I should have backed him up. And the lead is now 10 to 3. And my thing is, I want to kind of go ahead and start working on what I want to be using moving forward. I could be doing big nickel and doing decent, but I just kind of, since I already, I'm not undefeated anymore, I might as well prepare for the postseason, basically. Assuming I'll be able to make the postseason run a defense like this. We'll see. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for Part of that is not getting stopped on offense. Last time they got three points, but it was which I have been doing. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On second down, here's Mahomes. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and stuff right here today in the NFL. First down, Mahomes. This to McLaurin out on the left side. I hope that was five yards. I can get my This game not quite as good as the last, stuff. but still over 40 yards between the two. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide nope. what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good. Two things I could do here. I he hold the ball, he get to his primary guy. score with no time, to to or hope my defense gets a stop. Maybe a turnover. That, and that's what he did. Mahomes to throw on second down. And it's a short one here. Really? To Took you all that time to get off the block just to get stopped. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On third down, it's Pacheco. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. He'll go as a gain of 10 on the Kansas City first down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. Yeah, he's gonna get a I got two clock on this one. Before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Well, he was a busy man. Seems like the time's speeding, don't it? They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. And McClure in the motion man right. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. Yeah. Good play. Way to score. And we don't give him that much time. That's good because we get the ball back. We get the ball back. Extra point splits the uprights, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. Good tackle. And decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Damn, imagine he fumbled right there. Oh my gosh. Imagine he fumbles right there. And we scoop that thing. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL Audio Sports. And 
We've been pressing. We're going to see if we can get McLaurin on the outside against a press animation on a short route KO. Might go for that first play if they press. Mm. We might just start with that if they press. Oh, damn, McLaurin on the inside on here. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Oh, we got deep route K on First half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. Dang, that was a good user. <laughs> that was a good user. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Mm, go ahead, Freeman. Do your thing, buddy. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. Dang. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Dang, that's a deep route, KO. Now Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That is first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And some room to run now. Good stuff. Good run. I thought somebody was going to come get me from behind Pauls on that right side. That's why I was so late to, like, cut over there like that. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. Extra point right down the middle. offense. I just got to remember to run the ball. Sometimes I get pass happy. Then it costs me later on. Just keep running the ball. Stay balanced. Stay patient. I like, take my time. This taken in right around the goal line. Get that ball out. Alright, let's see if we can get a turnover. Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored. Now it's up to the exactly. answer. How do they respond here with their first drive? Got caught up trying to set my... The line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Cunningham. And got his man complete. That's on me. And in for the Steelers touchdown. <sighs> A great effort there. Calvin Johnson, what the world? Out of the night. And the Steelers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because That's right on now, me. we're seeing a big time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> I got to find out what I'm going to do on plays where, because like, Bunch, I actually wanted to call cover four. And this will be a touchback. Is that safe? I should have just set it up manually.
The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once and more. It's going to begin with a first and ten. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last. <sighs> I forgot we got run off on McLaurin, so we should run into his side more often because he cleared out the defender on his side. It's just he used it. Throwing now is Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. And I keep messing up my um hot route master. Pacheco gets it up the gut. Oh, nice move. <laughs> Just a little late on the juke. Not quite to the 35. 96 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Ooh, that was a bad pick anyway. That was that was a bad throw I was throwing. I was throwing that crosser. That was a bad throw. So it's kind of good. That that happened. Good catch. Good game. I'm in a good spot. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. Dancing to his left. Throw it away. We got to take the field goal here. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, was the running back open though? Was Pacheco open? It's too late for me to do a replay. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter is they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think he'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match him touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score okay, yeah, we'll take that. You can go back out there and get it done again. I should have tackled him just in case. Like, what if we strip him? If we strip him, that would have been perfect. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. All right, man, almost ran the exact same thing again. Here's second and three. Trying to strip him. Down of what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. What happened? Oh, end of the quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. To back good plays have him on the move on first down. Cunningham to throw. Oh, what? And they're able to work this 
to the 25 before it's over. <sighs> really? A gain of 32 that time. Now a first down throw, Cunningham. Good break up. Slot man moves right. Now they fake the jump sweep there and a run in Harris. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 17. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And there was some of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Here's Cunningham from the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man. Dang. From 17 yards out, and the Steelers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. All right, point up and good by Dicker. Game winning drive here. Four point game. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. There's a ball the catch. I just knew I had to hold that user. Covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Slings this deep from the corner. Ooh, that was close. Thought he would. Thought he would get more separation than that. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he'll get right. across midfield and down into Steeler territory. 106 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. Oh, my goodness. That was a terrible throw. Not putting this. The other first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get him to fourth down. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Now the homes got to have this one flushed out right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Okay, we've seen plenty of games. We've been there before. They thought they had this one over with. If they could have stopped them right there on that down. Yeah, I got to chill. That's going to be tough. 
That's tough because it was such great coverage. They had them blanketed, especially there in the secondary, but A took off and found a way. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Pacheco gets it again on second down. Get that first. Let's go. Good stuff. Strong running, my boy. I appreciate that. And a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out. Would not allow him to cut up field. Here's second down and three. Running left to give to Pacheco. Hey, he must got a strip on or something. He's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two minute warning. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. All right, we just got a score now. And we've got a one score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. It's Pacheco. And the tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 153 left. Here's a second and seven. It would be nice if we can get a first down without scoring. Here's Pacheco on the read option. That yeah, might be even better. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Well, if you've been waiting all day for this, this Sunday nighter's been worth the wait. It's third down here. Here's Pacheco once again. And boy, he's Damn, very short. close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. He handed it off there, but uh, I don't really know if he would have kept it or tried to do anything else if it would have mattered. Yeah, it's not always a wrong read when a play gets stacked up. Sometimes they're just at the line of scrimmage. There's just too many bodies. To okay. I'm <laughs> oh, about to say. <clears throat> they keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. We just totally get the sense there that a field goal was not in the game plan at all. And the boys up front, they created the surge. I think they knew that they had the leverage advantage. Oh, that's a Let's go. That's a beautiful drive. That's a playoff drive right there. Now we just can't let nothing stupid happen. 12 seconds, no timeouts. Just come out and prevent, dude. Just come out and breathe in. And I'm glad that I did a quarterback sneak instead of trying to do something extra. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. This is first and 10. 
He's back to throw. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. Catch it. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The towels are waving. Steeler fans on their feet. It's third down. He's got his target. Man, if y'all tackle this man. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although that last play, they were so backed up. It would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go. Oh, man. That was tough. So, I mean, we did okay for it to be a, our first game, like trying dollar or whatever. Offense still a little shaky, though. Offense still a little shaky. We didn't turn it over, but we did have to kick the field goal. Who is the guy? Dang, Diggs only got one. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, they'll fall back to 500 at two and two, and they'll get a chance. I mean, this was a all-around game, really. Next week, we don't have any turnovers. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and just grind it, got it out the mud, I guess. On EA Sports. So I don't know what we're gonna use for the. Oh, Calvin Johnson. Yeah, let's use him. Where's the one where he at? Yeah, this one. Yeah, this the one. Yep, this the one right here. Megatron. All right, y'all. Well, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Thanks for watching, as always. Um, we are now 3-1, and one, still leading our division, which is good. Um, but we don't have a first-round bye, which is what, what we do want. I think we're going to keep doing this, keep because that was a formidable opponent. A formidable opponent. Formidable opponent. So I think that we'll keep um, working on Dollar until the offseason. If we do a string of like three losses, then we might have to switch back. But I just want to get decent enough with it so I don't be making those big mistakes like I did this game. Most of his scores came off of uh, slow adjusting, adjustments. So hopefully I can um, get better with that. And by the time the playoffs come around, we'll be crisp or crisp enough to make a run. Um, so I appreciate y'all for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. And as always... Take care of yourselves. Peace. Play up.